All right, we got a very cool experiment coming up that shows a very interesting scientific principle. And to explain that, I'm joined by the awesome Dr. V. And Dr. V, we got something going on here with colors. About what are we explaining today? Well, we have an experiment with the Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle. And actually, okay. this will explain how an airbrush works, actually. An airbrush? Yeah. So okay. It's a simple experiment. What you need to do, hmm. uh, take a straw, cut it into two, uh, two pieces. Okay, so real simple. All right. And then put one in and uh, colored um, water. So okay. this is colored water, okay. uh, red color. And what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to blow across. So I have these two pieces, one going put, put in the water, and then I'm, go, I'm going to blow across. Okay? Now you're blowing across uh, this one across the top of the straw that's in the right. water. Okay. So, all right. So let's see what so happens here. Whatever happens, you should see the the, the color on this one. That's the results over here. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Okay. So the water is actually getting sucked sucked up Su the straw. Sucked up, and then it's, it's spraying on, on onto the onto the um, whiteboard. So even though you're blowing the air this way, the water is coming up. So what happens what, is, is that when I'm blowing it, uh -huh. the, the air pressure is significantly low. Okay. Since it's moving at a fa really fast rate, because uh -huh. I'm blowing at a very fast rate, so the, the pressure the is the pressure okay. is significantly low. So the water gets sucked up. And then once it gets in the airstream, it gets sprayed out. So for a split second, you make the air pressure really, really low, low here, and it just comes out and shoots. So wow, that's really again. cool. Let's yeah, can we try a different color this there? This is can actually you try good one? for painting. <laughs> actually, yeah, it does kind of look like an abstract watercolor here. So. Let me see. Here, let me get that out of the way for you. Go ahead, sir. Wow, very cool here. <laughs> <laughs> so this can be a very fun yet messy experiment, but Maybe really, a different color now. Yeah, and but you really, you I mean, try. yeah, it's almost very amazing how close up you can get how the water just goes up here. I'm not gonna try to make a mess, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I think your artistic skills are a little bit better than mine, but I did see it come up. That's very, very cool. Now, if the straw is bigger, does it make it harder? Uh, it'll be harder. Yeah. So the trick is to kind of do a little smaller. I'm, I'm just ready to faint. <laughs> Dr. V is a little bit out of breath because he's actually created a masterpiece here, and I'm actually a little out of breath, too. We're going to have all the instructions for this on the web, but again, this is one of the coolest experiments we've done to really just suck the water up here without blowing in. Again, what's the Bacon. principle again? Bernoulli's principle. Bernoulli's principle made a beautiful masterpiece. All right, thanks for tuning in to us on Hawaii News Now and watching Cool Weird Science with Dr. V. <laughs> I'm going to try this again. I'm sorry, I think I got a little bit more on you than I got on the painting. I apologize. No, that's fine. <laughs> We're good?